Hello, and welcome to FM Review. I'm your host, Freddie Robinson, and in this video I'll be putting together a jewelry armoire that I got for my wife as a present. And once it's been unboxed, you can see everything that was in the package. You do get four legs, two for the front and two for the rear. The top, which has a mirror. The paperwork and instructions on how to assemble it. The hardware necessary to assemble it. And the actual armoire itself. And here's a quick look at the assembly instructions. And there's only three easy steps. And you'll only need a screwdriver to assemble this. And here you can see the included hardware that is necessary to assemble the legs and back panel. And you can tell that this is very easy to use because it has the universal head for these different screws. This can either be a flathead or phillip head screwdriver. Step one is attaching the front legs and the rear legs. And for this step you'll be using four of these bolts coupled with the washer and a locking washer to hold all in place. To start off step one, I've went ahead and took some of the foam from the package and laid it on the floor and then placed the top of the actual armoire on top of that in, in order to keep it from being damaged. Now we'll go ahead and start with putting the rear legs on and you can kind of see that you have these pre-drilled holes that will line up with the holes in the leg. So I'll just go ahead and line those up and place the bolts in. Step two is assembling the top panel. Attaching the top piece with the mirror to the top of the armoire which has a bracket or hinge. And what I found was the easiest was to take the hinge and lay it up and then turn the piece over with the mirror down. And now you have your four pre-drilled holes that will line up with your hinge. And here you can see the four pre-drilled holes that I have lined up with the actual bracket. And now I'll just go ahead and attach the screws to the top of the armoire. And here's a demonstration of the top being opened and closed once it has been attached. And for this one you can actually see that it does have some pads that it falls back on when it's setting straight up. For step three, you will fasten this to the wall. And step three will be attaching the armoire to the wall with the included screw that goes through the actual round eye. And that will just hold it in place in case it tips over. And here's a closer look at the cherry finish and you can see the assembly and the build quality of this. And you can pull these shelves out and notice that this one is divided and it does have the felt inlay for padding your jewelry and the second drawer is wide open and you can put larger items in as so is the third drawer and the fourth drawer now it didn't open the top drawer because it doesn't open it's permanently in place and it's more or less decorative and that's because if you open the top you do have a little divided area where you can place larger items and here you can take a closer look at the area that your necklaces would hang and you can see that there are three different hooks and so I'm not quite sure what kind of opinion to have for this because I'm not familiar with jewelry armoires. For the price I think it was a very good deal. The build quality is good and it was very easy to assemble. As far as the size this is about three feet tall and it it's kind of short in my opinion but I'm not sure what women they're shorter than men in general so it may be all right the storage space looks like it's good it's not cheap and flimsy and i think for for sixty dollars i believe it's a pretty good piece of furniture glad that's over with now on to the next project and next video make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all my videos three, two, one. step three will be fastening the armoire armoire step three will be fastening in <laughs> can you see step three will for step three you will fasten for step three you will fasten this to the wall.